guys, how's it going? Higgins93 here with a video on missing Pandaria talent changes. I know, it's been a while since my last video on talent changes, over a month ago now. The last one I did was on Shadow Priests, but my next lot of videos will be dedicated to the talent changes. Right, let's get started. Today I have chosen Boom King, even though I haven't played one before, but I thought I'd show you which talents I have chosen for him. Okay, at level 15 I have picked Wild Charge which is an instant cast with a 15 second cooldown and which flies you to a nearby ally's position. This is fantastic if you need, if your friend needs help or if you want to be closer to the battle or if you are doing PvP and an ally or a friend or whoever needs assistance or under attack or whatever and you can help them out like using Typhoon if you have the spell. Right, uh, the next talent I have picked is at level 30 which is Nature's Swiftness which is another instant cast with one minute cooldown and what the spell does is when it's activated your next cyclone, Tangling Roots, Healing Touch, Hibernate, Nourish, Rebirth or Regrowth becomes instant free and castable in all forms and the healing and duration of the spell is increased by 50 percent these are all the spells not the actual nature swiftness but all the spells that cast is increased and long last longer and whatever okay so this is really great for everyone in any situation with the use of wild charge of to top it all off if you pick that for your talent at level 15. Okay, the next talent I have picked, which becomes available at level 45, is Typhoon, with another instant cast again. <laughs> what is it with me picking instant casts today? Anyway, moving on. It has a 20 second cooldown and summons a violent Typhoon that strikes targets in front of the caster within 30 yards, knocking them back and dazing them for, for 6 seconds, not 30, sorry, and is usable in all shapeshift forms. <laughs> you can use it in bear form, you'd be unstoppable. Anyway, which is excellent if you have the world charge and in, you're in PvP and if you're in battle and you want to protect the healer, you go zoom in or whatever it is, you just charge a thing in bear form and then you just go boom, typhoon, you're gone. See you next time. <laughs> okay, so the next level, next talent is at level 60, which is force of nature with another instant casting spell with a one minute cooldown which summons three trents to assist the druid in the current combat role for 15 seconds. The trents capabilities vary by specialization, usable in all shapeshift forms which is great for numbers of reasons which I won't name them all but I can tell you this, you will be unstoppable. <laughs> okay at level 75 I have chosen Ursul's Vortex, I know I'm sorry I mispronounced things, I tend to do that and I'm really speaking fast because I'm meh. Anyway, this is another instant cast with a minute cooldown which conjures a vortex of wind and a, 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 yeah, sorry, of wind at the destination location that reduces movement speed of all enemies within 8 yards by 50%. The first time the enemy attempts to leave the vortex, the winds will pull the enemy back to its center and it lasts for 10 seconds usable in all shapeshift forms. How awesome is that? Okay, at last but not least, at level 90 I have picked Nature's Virgil, I think, or Virgil. Anyway, sorry, I do apologize if I do pronounce things wrong, but oh well, we must move on since your time is so precious. <laughs> anyway, which is an instant spell which has a 3 minute cooldown. It increases all damage and healing done by 20% for 30 seconds while active, all single target healing spells also do damage to a nearby enemy for 25% of healing done. And all single target damage spells and abilities will also heal nearby target for 25% of damage done. I know this was a bit iffy, but that's what I picked. If you think it's something else, please leave it down in the comments below. And that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like this, share this, and add it to your favourites. And please leave a comment down below on what class I should do next. Also, don't forget to hit that subscription button if you haven't already to see more videos from me. Thanks a lot, guys. I will see you next time and happy gaming.